Welcome to another section of our Automation Framework Development with Selenium Java course. And this is season three upgrade of our framework that we have been developing so long. And you can see that there are so many things have changed. Even my Xero Automation logo has been changed to a new logo. And yes, of course, we have to keep upgrading our course as well to the latest of 2020. So our framework exists from 2016, as I told, and is keep evolving every year. And this year, we have already seen a lot of breaking changes happening and happening in almost all the libraries we have used so far. Something like Cucumber, Selenium 4 been introduced, and Cucumber test in G, extend reporting, Chrome driver. I mean, even in Java that we have been using, everything has been changed. There are so many things have been changed and these changes are affecting you while you purchase this course and while you try to uh, use this framework probably with the latest libraries, you are always ending up with some of the problems and I am keep getting some questions from students like you asking why is this not been working at the moment. I mean, yes, of course, as you know that this course has been released on 2016 there are so many changes happening. Of course, I cannot release a new course and I don't really force you to buy a new course for that matter. I'm actually releasing a new section so that you can actually learn from there. So we are going to upgrade following in this course. And as you can see, the libraries that we have been using in the last section of the course is this one. As you can see here, we have Selenium Java 3.11 and JNuitus 4.12 and Cucumber Java is like 1.2.5, which is actually using info.cukes. And Cucumber is now changing a lot, and I've been uh, talking about the Cucumber 5 upgrade a lot, and Cucumber 6 uh, came, and Cucumber 7 is gonna come pretty soon. So many things have changed, and the library that we are using at the moment is like uh, info.cukes, which is pretty old library. So we need to really, really upgrade that, and we are gonna upgrade in this particular section as well. So Cucumber test ng has to be upgraded, Cucumber JUnit has to be upgraded. So everything is going to be upgraded to something like this. So while I'm recording this video today, the Selenium is right now in Selenium 4 Alpha 6. Selenium 4 is not out yet, but soon it will be out. But the changes we are making today is going to already support the latest Selenium 4 breaking changes. So there are a few changes in our custom control libraries we are going to make those changes but once you are done you can see that it's going to be awesome so we have already supported or backed up with the latest selenium 4 release which is going to happen pretty soon in cucumber java as you can see we are using 6.8 this is the latest version till till now and cucumber test ng is in 6.8 and jnit is in 4.12 there is no change on that and we are going to upgrade everything in this particular uh, library section and as I told you, Cucumber has a lot of changes. I mean, Cucumber 4 itself started to seeing a lot of breaking changes, but we are using Cucumber 6.8, and these changes are gonna be applicable from Cucumber 4 if you're already using it. So the Cucumber info cubes that we were using before has Cucumber feature wrapper or something like that. And starting from Cucumber 4, support of object, as you can see over here, is not currently being supported like this. So we cannot run the Cucumber with the whole feature file so that we can make the parallelization of the feature or something like that before. Now this is completely not possible. Now the whole library has been changed to something like this. So now the data provider reminds the same but the way that you get is actually from the provider scenario rather the provide features so now the provide features is completely gone to provide scenarios there is no way that we can call the provide features so the team thought that if we run features in parallel then there's going to be a lot of threading issues and stuff so they moved every single parallel execution of the features to scenario level but of course yes we need to run the test on the feature level parallelism but at the moment it is not possible in our test cases and you can also see that the new changes is that uh, for the test that we were running we were using cucumber feature wrapper but right now there is something called as the pickle wrapper and then feature wrapper something like that which is not the one happening before so this is another breaking change and Cucumber also broke one of the most important libraries that we were using for the data table, which is like data.ra. And it has been now moved to data.asList. So the raw method doesn't really exist with the latest version. So we have to upgrade that as well. 
And finally, as I told, the test ng is being also affected because of the parallel execution. We cannot really do the parallel execution as we are using the test runner to do the uh, parallel execution for us. And since the scenario level parallelization is now happening, we cannot really run whole methods in parallel because that requires a lot of threading issues and we need to handle that within our test, which we're not going to be doing in this particular section. Apart from that, a new in Cucumber 6.8.0 x is enhanced cucumber expression data table annotations and more we are going to be doing that as well which i have already talked in many of my youtube videos and we are also going to be using the lumbok plugin to simplify the model creations you will really understand what i really mean in this particular section while i'm going to talk about that after a few lectures so let's quickly see whatever that i discussed in this particular video in action starting our next video